عيني أما ودعي لتبكي دموعك يا أمي عن دربي لا لن تثنيني أما When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the human and jinn kind unto this world, He already destined the chain of prophets from the very first to the last and final prophet, peace be upon them, as well as the revelations that would be sent down to them in order to guide their nations. All the divine books and revelations were preserved in the tablet. By the decree of Allah, the divine guidance and revelations were sent down to different prophets and messengers on different time periods for different generations. Today too many people, even the Muslim, are asking why the Quran was revealed 14 centuries ago and not on the first day of mankind on earth. For understanding this, you need to know the following points. The fundamental message of Islam is Tawheed, meaning the monotheism. This message was not only sent to Muhammad, peace be upon him, rather for all the other prophets. Allah has shown the people from the time of Adam until right now, has shown the people what he wants from them. And it's a very simple thing. And that is that worship be for him alone without any partners. So the fundamental belief and the ethical teachings were generally the same. It means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent the main and the very important message not only 14 centuries ago, but from the time of Adam alayhi salam. Meaning every prophet brought the message of Islam. Because no other belief system is acceptable except Islam. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, it is also important to be known that beside the basic message there were particular divine ruling, meaning ahkam for particular nations and times, which was for the welfare of the nation. It means the social condition was differing from time to time. And so for every time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a specific ruling and legislation. Therefore the ruling of Quran was not 100% applicable for the previous nations. Because the social condition was different from now. For example, at the time of Adam alayhi salam, it was allowed that Adam, peace be upon him, marry his daughters to his sons as a matter of necessity. Because on that time there was no other people except them. Now in the Sharia of Islam, the marriage between brother and sister is prohibited. But this prohibition was not applicable on the time of Adam alayhi salam because the situation was different. وَلَقَدْ أَرْسَلْنَا رُسُلًا مِّن قَبْلِكَ وَجْعَلْنَا لَهُمْ أَزْوَاجًا وَذُرِّيَّةً وَمَا كَانَ لِرَسُولٍ أَنْ يَأْتِيَ بِآيَةٍ إِلَّا بِإِذْنِ اللَّهِ لِكُلِّ أَجَلٍ كِتَابٍ So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent several revelations but all the revelations that came before the Quran and all the messengers that came before the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him were sent only for a specific people and for a specific time. Always when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent a revelation to a nation, by the passage of time they have changed the revelations according to their own desires. Therefore this time Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed the Quran and preserved it so that no one can bring any change into it. And since it is the final revelation, it is sent not only for the Muslims but for the whole humanity. And the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not only sent for the Muslims, rather for the whole humanity. That's why he has been prophesied in all the divine scriptures.
It was also easy for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to preserve the previous revelations, but Allah did not guarantee that out of His absolute knowledge. The reason could be to make the hypocrisy of the people who changed the verses apparent to others. And another reason is that there is no need to preserve those revelations because the ruling of every revelation was just for one nation with a specific situation and time. So the ruling which was just for one nation is not applicable for the whole humanity to be preserved. You know, my son, he wants to become a doctor. He tells me, Father, Abba, why do you put me into nursery, then junior KG, senior KG, first standard? Why you put me in school? Directly put me into medical college. I said, son, if you want to be a doctor, first you have to go to nursery, pre-primary, primary school, secondary school, medical college, then you'll become a doctor. You can't directly enter a medical college because you won't understand. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is our creator, He knows very well that human being would not be able to grasp the complete message of the Quran if it was revealed earlier. 1400 years ago, Almighty God who is our creator, He knows this time, the time has come where human beings can understand the message. So that's the reason previously He sent messages which were there but not complete because human beings could not understand, could not grasp. حسبي ونعم الوكيل